What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here, coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Collection Legend Series 14, Edge, the Chase Variant. And so here we have Edge posing out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories really fast. Edge does come with two pairs of hands, we do get a pair of grip hands, then we get a pair of splayed open hands. Edge also comes with a pair of sunglasses which does fit on his head nicely and then we do get a soft goods trench coat which is something we've been asking for for a really long time. Other than that, Edge doesn't come with anything else. So with that out of the way guys, let's get a closer look at Edge. And so here we have a closer look at Edge and I think Mattel has done a really solid job with this figure. This is one of the best Edge heads we have ever seen in a figure and the photo reel on it just does so much to, to bring out all those nice details. I absolutely like this head sculpt. Another thing that this figure does absolutely perfect the shading in the hair. Mattel actually put highlights in the hair. That's something I've been saying Mattel needs to start doing and we finally have it here on Edge. They actually went in with a almost like a blonde color and highlighted some parts of his hair and oh does that make it look so much better than just that pasty color that they normally go with for hair. So yeah Mattel actually did something right with that. It's a really good call and I really do like it. So really good job by Mattel. Best Edge head sculpt we've seen in a really long time and really like the long flowing hair like Edge had in the early 2000s. So it's a really nice head sculpt. I'm gonna leave it at that. Best Edge head ever at least in terms of what we've gotten so far. So as far as the rest of the figure goes, it's pretty much what you expect from Edge in the early 2000s. We do have him with his shoulder tattoo right here. He is wearing elbow pads right there. As you can see, they are black. They're the short ones, which I believe that's accurate. Edge might have worn the slightly longer ones, but I think this works for the figure. He is sporting white wrist tape as you guys can see right here. Really do like that and I do have him with the grip hands. He is using your generic uh, elite torso which I'm pretty much okay with. Edge wasn't shredded at the time so I'm perfectly fine with him having this torso. It's not the end of the world if they didn't give it to him but at the same time it's just the right body to go with. So I did get lucky here and I have the Chase variant version of Edge and if you guys don't know the difference it's his tight color. The standard issue Edge has white trunks where the it, Chase variant has red trunks and the chase variant is the one I really did want and lucky me I actually have the chase variant in hand so he is pointing the onk right here on the front of his tights and we have some more like sunburst right here where it says edge on the side of his trunks and then it just goes out from there really liking edges the trunks design back in the day his tights were some of the best that I've seen and the color scheme on this it works it's perfect and it is pretty much what I would expect we have the black edge emblem inside and we have the red the white burst outlined in black is perfect although personally if they really wanted that to pop they should have done a black burst with a red or not red but white outline that I think would have looked so much better kind of like what they did here with the onk if it had been more like that I think the rest of the gear would have come a little bit better but overall still liking the red gear it's the one I really wanted and happy that I have it in hand moving on to his kick pads it is the old school edge kick pad where we see that burst effect which I really do like it says edge on it then we do have some design on the back of his kick pads now it would have been nice if they had actually sculpted that design in giving him actual like unique sculpted kick pads but unfortunately they went the route of giving him just the standard kick pads and thankfully they did give him the ones that have the tops if you don't know what I mean his uh, calf and his the top of his kick pad is all one piece so that does rotate independently underneath the kick pad it does give him a little bit of height which is accurate because Edge is a taller guy so overall really nice choices here on Edge and I do like the way this figure came together so 
with that out of the way, guys, let's actually get Edge compared to other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have the Legend Series Edge posed next to an Ultimate Editions Brock Lesnar and a basic Jeff Hardy. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually have a closer look at Edge's articulation. Now, Edge does sport a ball joint at the head, which does let him look down a little bit. Can't really look up because of the way his hair is sculpted. That will always get in the way. And he can tilt his head side to side slightly. The hair does get out of the way. Uh, left and right movement will always have him at an angle because, again, the hair, even though it is a little bit soft, still forces his head to tilt, unfortunately. So... Moving on to the, his shoulders, he does have a ball joint here at the shoulder, which does go out to about right there. Goes all the way around, no problem. We do have a bicep swivel, which works perfectly fine. We have a double bend at the elbow, which works perfectly. I do like that. We have a swivel hinge at the wrist, once again, working beautifully. He has an ab crunch, which does lean back and forward. He has rotation here at the waist. Legs do kick forward to about right there. They kick back out to the side, swivel at the thigh, double bend here at the knee. We do have a swivel here at the kick pad, not here at the calf, but in the middle of the kick pad. Then he does have a hinge in the ankle which goes back and forward. And then we do have a little bit of rocker ankle. So overall, Edge here has some pretty good articulation. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually get Edge pose and compare or pose for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have Legend Series Edge posed for my final thoughts and overall I'm really happy to have this figure in my collection. I would have been happy to have the standard version in my collection as well, but having the Chase variant is probably icing on the cake and I absolutely love the way this figure came out. The likeness to Edge is very good, the accessories are nice. Would have preferred another set of hands, maybe a pair of fists would have also been good for Edge. Or maybe even a chair, you know, he uses the chair a lot, so that's his signature weapon. But I'm not really complaining too much on this, because it's a, such a really nice figure to own. If you haven't already found Legend Series 14 and in stores, be patient, they are starting to hit stores at the time I'm making this video now. I actually went out on a limb and ordered Edge online for in-store pickup, and when I picked him up, Surprisingly, it was a Chase variant, and I'm very happy about that. It's the version I really, really wanted, and I'm really happy to have it in my collection. Like I said, I would have been happy to have the Standard or the Chase, but the fact that I was able to get the Chase on my very first effort, blind, online, and in-store pickup, that is impressive to me. So I'm really happy I do have this Edge. If you are looking for Edge, if you find him in stores, he will run you $22.99. If you order him online for some reason, Legend Series 14 is running $19.99 on Target's website. So if you order them for in-store pickup, you only pay $19.99 per figure. So do keep that in mind when shopping around. Save a little money. Do the in-store pickup like I did. And who knows, you might even get a chase variant edge legend series is available only at target unfortunately but thankfully the legends figures are coming in complete cases so if you are looking for an, an edge he is coming in a case of eight road dog mean mark Callis, and china are all getting their own individual cases as well so this wave isn't that hard to find so if you do want edge look around for him shop around and chances are you will find them with that being said, guys, I'm King Dragons 5000 Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews, as well as all my other WWE videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it's in my collection, I'll gladly have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys. I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.